Hey, my whole squad. All right, so you you spoke, I listened. This is coming up in the morning because many of you all said that you prefer a morning video. So I'm giving y'all a morning video. I'm trying to like go early mornings, about 6 a.m. my time. What is this on my lips? I'm sorry, did y'all see that? Anyway, so welcome. And whenever you watch it, hey. All right, so... I'm trying to like really showcase my collection. That's what we're going to call it. We are showcasing the collection. And part of showcasing the collection is showing off parts of it, right? So we're going to be talking about Mason Lancome. The reason why I decided to talk about it right now is because um, even though it's discontinued, I'm seeing it a lot more on the gray market. Certain ones that hadn't been coming out, they, they're starting to show up a little bit. So I wanted to tell you about them to give you all just some, you know, insight into the Mason Lancome line by, um, of course, Lancome and, and rank the ones I have, I guess. And, you know, we'll just have a little conversation about Mason Lancome. Let me know. Now, before we get started, could you all put in the comments if you own any and what do you think about them? Because it ain't just me talking about it. So tell me the ones that you have and what do you think of them? All right, let's go. All right, so let's talk Maison Lancome. Maison Lancome is, of course, the private label line from Lancome. Uh, all of the designers, uh, most of them have a private, more expensive line. So this was their line. So we're going to talk about the ones I have. I think I have, <laughs> how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I thought I had more than that. Hold on. Y'all, I have 12. I have a dozen. But we're going to start, of course, with the one. The one. And that is Oud Bouquet. Now, of course, as you can tell, this is the original um, packaging before they changed the packaging. So this is the original packaging. This was like um, 60 mil, I think it was. It wasn't the full 75 mils. That, that, it's not 100 mils. I think these were 75. But anyway... This is the one that made oud more mainstream. You know, the oud, the caramel, the rose. This made, you know, hey, we love oud bouquet. And um, I was hearing about it. I was hearing about it. And just so happened, Fragrance Net had these up at the time at a really great price. So I bought, blind bought it. And so I do have the original. This is the original formulation. This is before reformulation. It's a really deep and got the sweetness and the rose. It is a classic. Now, of course, this has been duped many times. We know Shagaf Oud is a pretty much spot on imitation. This is, of course, another fragrance that is has been duped many many times because it is so popular it is such a iconic staple hold on this is such an iconic staple of a scent so if you can't get this you like i said shagaf oud is worth buying i don't have shagaf oud anymore because i have this if i run out of this I'll probably buy Shagaf Oud. But at the time, I just decided I did need to have both. And so I kept the original right here. Um, Oud Bouquet. All right, next up is this one. And this is La Atra Oud. Now, you can tell I don't wear this one this much. And when I was decanting, I of course, I did decant um, some of the original uh, Oud Bouquet. This, of course, is the other Oud. Now... I have to be honest, this is a true oud, right? This is very much giving you, it's got rose, it's got oud, and it's giving you a classic oud vibe. It is very strong on the oud. It is very woody. It's a, it's a really good fragrance. It's just not necessarily my style, and I keep it because it's a Maison Lancome. Do I wear it? No. Um, could I wear it? I probably could layer it with something else and it would be quite divine because it is a really 
really well done, well blended oud. It's just something that's not my style. So there's that. Now, I'm kind of going in order of the ones that I've gotten. I'm going to try to do that. And just talk about them. <laughs> Let's be honest. All right. So then the next one that I purchased that I was able to get was this one. Now, these are the next style that they came up with, which had the had this beautiful metal relief on this side and then had the name on the other side. So this is Roses Berberanza. I know this looks like I've never used it, but this was a backup bottle. I wound up. I actually decanted a lot of my first one and then used the rest. So let's talk about this one. Y'all, Roses Berberanza stands alone. You, if you've ever smelled it, it's a very nutty rose. It has, um, you know, it has, uh, what is it, pistachio. It's a really gorgeous rose. And it's got this nuttiness to it. And it's sweet and it's jammy and slightly boozy. It's a real stunner. To be quite honest, I wound up picking up a decant of this. And then I saw it on fragrance. I got the decant, fell in love, went straight out to figure out could I get it and found a good deal on it. And the reason why I wound up purchasing a backup bottle is because at the time, real talk, this was right when the pandemic started and the prices were good. I wound up purchasing both of them for about the price of one bottle. So they were like really like at a hundred, right at a hundred, maybe five dollars a piece. So that's why I was like, I'm I'm getting another bottle. I'm getting another bottle of this. So this is Roses Berberanza. For the people who have tried it or own it, you just put it in the comments. Because this is such a beautiful standout rose. Super jammy, super sweet, super just beautiful so this is roses berberanza this is tuberose castan castain this is a tuberose with it has chestnut in it so it's nutty also and so it has this like very this is a very rich almost syrupy tuberose with this chestnut vibe with this chestnut to it it is Nothing that I have smells like this. And I have to be in the mood for Tuberose Castell because it is overpowering. This is definitely, and Roses Barbaranza, these are winter fra fragrances because they are so deep. They are so rich that they will overpower you. And they so these are not for summertime because they're just so, so sweet, so rich that they can be cloying in the heat but in the winter time baby you smell deliciously sexy wearing this so this is tuberose castane then after that picked up this one this beauty right here and i know a lot of people want this one this is called parfait de roses <sighs> to be honest this is a this is a sweet powdery rose very sweet very jammy it is very roses berberanza and parfait de roses are kind of similar but not really so they're very sweet jammy roses this is boozy but this is powdery now here's the thing about this this is so hard to come by honestly i have not seen this come up in years I'll just be honest with you. I have not seen Parfait de Roses come up in quite a few years. And if people are selling it, they're selling it at outrageous prices. Like I know, I've looked and seen how much I could actually sell this bottle for. So if I ever got broke. But let me say this. If you like, if you've always wanted to try Parfait de Roses, here's what I'm going to tell you do. I want you to go get Van Cleef and Arpels Rose Rouge because it is very it is almost a dupe of this they are very similar rose rouge just isn't quite as deep as this is but this right here but it has the same vibe it's the same similar is very similar because this is just this beautiful powdery sweet rose this is perfect i love this in spring and fall because this like 
like roses barbaranza i find i wear it in the winter time this is like the lighter version so this would be fall jammy rose where roses barbaranza is my if i'm choosing between the two that would be my winter jammy rose so this is parfait de roses this mm, mm, mm. just gorgeous just gorgeous now there was a point when i was just buying up these so i was i was listening and i was buying right so one of the ones i purchased where's it at now this one is a newer version this is jasmine marzipan you can tell because it doesn't have the side relief and it's only on this one now I have to be honest, people talk about this and say it's kind of got this marzipan, it's got this candied vibe to it, like marzipan, which is an almond thing, like I don't get any of that, I don't, I just, I'm just being honest, what I get is a beautiful jasmine, it is a very fresh, almost green jasmine, there is a sweetness to it, but it's not that serious. This is truly more of a jasmine to me. So for me, jasmine marzipan was a little let down because I was lit, I was hearing what everybody was saying, and I thought I was gonna get this kind of mar almondish vibe with it. I did not get that from this. I just strictly got jasmine. Now let me say it's a beautiful jasmine, but it wasn't what I expected. All right, next up, we're going to talk about Magnolia Rosé. I need to clean these off. You see this fingerprints all up on here? Come on now, you can do better than that, Louise. You can do better than that. Now, let me show it again to y'all. All right, Magnolia Rosé. <laughs> Much better. All right, I always tell people when it gets start getting warm or we hit springtime, this is the fragrance that I love. This is one of my fragrances that makes me say it is springtime now. I want to wear this. And this is one. This is Magnolia and Rose. It's musky. It is beautiful. This is, if you are a floral lover, this is stunning. Now, I had this in the, what is this, the third, the what are these the 15 mils or 30 mils or whatever and i had to get the full bottle i just really did because it was just so beautiful to me so that is magnolia rose this is ashley pivon prontom the back came off with the name but i know what it is so this is spring peonies and that's exactly what it is it is a very peony forward fragrance now, if you know anything about peony fragrances, they usually have some rose in it. So this is rose and peony. Really pretty. Um, as you can tell, I haven't been wearing it, but this is just like a really gorgeous springtime vibe. Um, Magnolia Rose embodies spring to me. This is also another vibe that's very um, springtime, spring-ish. Because peonies, if you know anything about flowers peonies are a spring flower so it does and i've actually used to have peonies in my old yard still thinking about putting them in this yard and this reminds me and and it, it does smell like peonies with roses so this is pivon printemps then we have santal cardamom oh my goodness this one snuck up on me now, I have to be honest, when I purchased this, I purchased it because it was Maison Lancome. Wasn't sure about it, just wanted it because it was Maison Lancome. It was a good deal. I had to get it. Now, I have to be honest, this one is showing up now. Y'all, I love this fragrance. This hose, let me tell y'all, this is santa it's a sandalwood and cardamom so it's a got a spiciness to it and a woody creamy sandalwood i enjoy this fragrance it is so funny because i we know that i i lean toward the feminine the girly the floral but this is like this is just super unisex anybody could wear it it would be just sexy on a man and this is just one of those 
very you know just wearing jeans just being very casual yet casually chic so this isn't just like you know a t-shirt and jeans this is you know a white shirt and jeans you know a very put well put together stylish just casual jean look going out kicking it with your designer sneakers on and everything so that is santal cardamom that cardamom is intense so you have to like it then there was this honey let's talk about this one honey we all needed this this was one that we were all looking for and when it showed up we had to get it and that is lavanda's trianon here's the front of it now i haven't seen this one in a while either because when and when it shows up this is one that gets snatched real quick so if listen i don't even like lavender that much and then to be quite honest i've only bought it because it was it was mason lancome but y'all this is lavender milk this is like a warm lavender milk drink it's sweet it's lavender it's lactonic it is stunning it is gorgeous um like i said i am not even a person who really likes lavender in my sense but i love this fragrance and it is such a cozy fragrance honestly bath and body works has some good things that kind of similar to this maybe i should I, I i'll go through the ones i actually still have and we can talk about them did i get rid of everything already let me see because they actually have one that actually does semi-mimic this. It's not a s spot on, but it definitely does give this vibe. Because you want this lavender and milkiness. And this is, this is cozy. Let me just say this. This is cozy. This is sweater weather. This is sitting by a fire if you can get by one. This is snuggled up with your boo netflix and then chill this is that type of fragrance and it's also a really good nighttime fragrance bedtime because it just feels so cozy and relaxing and sweet and good oh love it so that is lavanda's trianon this one right here the last ooh that i've gotten and i i always say i i this was because of Joss Jane and I know she hasn't been doing videos lately but Joss girl this she she's the one who got me to get this one and this is Oud Ambrosi because she talked about it so much and I finally and I had said I was like eh, I don't know if I need it and then I got it and I fell in love this is similar to Oud Bouquet but what it is so it's Rose and Oud but it's got a serious honey note. It is dripping with honey. So it's a rose honey oud. <sighs> this one I haven't seen lately either. Um, so this isn't one that has been coming out lately. But if it does and you love oud and rose and you want something a tad bit different, I'm going to get this oud ambrosia because that honey takes it to another level, honey. It does. So this is oud ambrosia. Then we have, I think this is the last one. Two, 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 two. Yes. And the last one, and this is the last one that I've purchased, is Jasmine Do'o. This one is around right now. I've seen it on Joma Shop, Fragrance Net. Yes, I've seen it. And this, this is a jasmine tea. So whereas, so this is giving you a tea, it's a tea jasmine tea. It's light, it's airy, it's tea based. It's beautiful. It is. And so if you like tea based fragrances and you want to go a little different, want to go a little floral, this is perfect. It's jasmine and it's a jasmine tea. And it's refreshing and beautiful for the summertime. Layers well with things, lasts all the time. This is jasmine dough. And now it is, like I said, it is available right now. So if this is intriguing to you, I will look into it. Okay, so I know people like you to rank. 
and say which ones are your favorites. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So let's rank. Now, easily, I can always say the last one is always this one. And that's La Atra Oud. This is like, mm, it's okay. You know, like I say, it, it's a nice rose oud. It's a serious rose oud. But it's just, it's not necessarily my style. But I have it. So I'm... Now, honestly, La Atra Oud has been around recently. The newer version. The new packaging and everything not of course this one but you can find the ultra oud right now if you're interested in it next up i would have to say is pivon printant because as we can see i really don't wear it um it's been just sitting at the back and i need to like pull it out because it is a beautiful fragrance but it's like oh, okay i like it it's nice that's how i feel about it. that's that's it um next up is jasmine's marzipan and like I said, it's not because it's not a beautiful jasmine. It's just not what I thought it was, which made it a tad bit disappointing. So that made it. So even though it's a really gorgeous jasmine, it's just I was expecting a little difference from it. So that's why it, it's sitting at that level right there. All right. Next up from here. Ooh, this is tough. Oh, this is tough. Because all of these I love. I absolutely love all of these. They're all the same. Okay, y'all don't want to hear that. Okay. Here's what I'm going to have to say. I'm going to go with Oud Bouquet. Because I, I'm not in the mood for this. It's not that it's not beautiful. Because it is. But it's just not something that I'm like in the mood to wear lately. So, but even though. And let me tell y'all something. There is a reason why this is a popular scent because I promise you, and I'll tell everybody this is a true story. The first time I wore this after I got in, and I did over spray it quite a bit. Uh, a co worker of mine, this uh, male co worker of mine, ran out of the room, followed me, and was asking me what it was because he was like, That smells so sexy. So it is a sexy, just really beautiful, gorgeous scent. But I'm just not in the oud roses right I'm just not in the oud right now. I'm just not feeling the oods. So we're going to say that. And that's why. That's why it's right there. And so with that being said, since I'm really not featuring oods right now, we're going to say oud ambrosie. <sighs> oud ambrosie. I just want... If, oud, rose, and honey. That's, that's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Next up, I'm going to go with Santal Cardamom because this is unisex i love it but it is not necessarily something i i love it let me just say that but it, it just don't there's other it's other ones okay let me just go and keep it keep it moving keep it moving the next up is this one. Ooh, it's tough right up in here all right it's tough it's tough okay here we go we're going to say Jasmine Doe. We're going to say Jasmine Doe because I love it. I love it. But these other ones, they they got they got me right up in here. So this is Jasmine Doe would be this one. Then we're going to go with Tuberose's Castain. I know this is very interesting for people like, really? That's where you rank it in? Tuberose's Castain. Even though it's a stunningly gorgeous, just totally different, beautiful tuberose, um, I still like something better than this one. I still, I still rock with some other ones more. So we're gonna say tuberose castane right here. Um, this one has not been. It came up recently, but it hasn't been up in the last. I want to say six to eight months. So there's that. All right, then we have. Two, two, two. We're gonna go with. Oh yeah, we gotta do this. This the order. Then we're gonna go with Lavanda's Tree and Nine. Oh man, La lavender, lactonic, sweetness, cozy, cozy, cozy. Yes. Next up is Parfait de Roses. Then Magnolia Rose. Now this was hard to say this, but I have to always give it to Rose's Berberanza because 
this one snatched me so hard. Oh, yes, it snatched me, honey. It snatched me. So that's that. So those are mine and the ones ranking them. So that's my 12, my dozen. So tell me about the ones you had. Thank you all, as always, for watching. I do appreciate you. So there's my dozen. You tell me about yours. All right. Talk to you later. As always, it's your Lulu. Be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Talk to you later.